All right, hey everyone, hey, this is Mr. Maxwell here. Um, I am Mr. Mathwell, and I am gonna walk you through this Kahoot, because chances are when you click on this link, you will not, I will not have the game started, so you won't be able to see the questions and uh, play along. So just play along and see if you get any of these questions right. If you wanna know a little bit more about me, this is how I introduce myself to the kids in my class. So I'm gonna be the fictitious player, Jim Bob, and I'm gonna see how Jim Bob does here. He's probably gonna be pretty smart here and know a lot of these answers. So. Here's question one of 17. Mr. Maxwell graduated high school in what year? Okay, the uh, picture on the screen indicates that Mr. Maxwell probably was pretty old. So what year do you think that he graduated high school? The answer is 1992. Hey, congratulations if you got that right. You know what, Jim Bob got that right. Congratulations, Jim Bob, you're on top. Number two, my favorite sports growing up were? Which one of these two? Now this little graphic gives you a little bit of a hint of one of them. That's a famous NHL team's logo, sort of. And what did I like growing up? It was hockey and baseball. Yes, that was an Oiler. Uh, Edmonton Oilers were my favorite uh, team growing up. Wayne Gretzky. All right, what's my wife's name? Is it Kathy, Christy, Candy, or Corey? The answer is, there's a picture of my beautiful wife right there. The answer is Corey. And yes, these other names here are names of her sisters. She also has three brothers. They are uh, Christy, Kathy, Candy, Corey, Kelly, Kent, and Clay, all Ks. Is that cool or what? Question number four. How many children do you think I have? How many children do you think I have? The picture in the middle is a bit of a hint. Yes, the answer is four. The answer is four. Congratulations to you if you're on a streak like Jim Bob is. All right, what universities did I attend? I attended three universities. Probably the most famous one is pictured here in this old postcard. If you can read what that is on the graphic there. So the answer is U of S, U of R, and Cornell University. I got a hockey scholarship to Cornell University back in the day and I took classes uh, U of R when I was playing hockey and graduated from U of S in Saskatoon. Mr. Maxwell's grade 12 algebra mark was, you know, this is going to be pretty hot, right? I mean, I'm Mr. Mathwell, right? Well, you're probably going to guess wrong. I got an 83 in my grade 12 algebra mark, and yeah, back in the day of the dinosaurs, that was a pretty decent mark. And as a hockey player, <clears throat> let's just say I didn't maybe study as much as I could have. Bad. Next, question number seven. Mr. Maxwell received a scholarship for what sport? Well, I did just mention this. This uh, picture is a picture of a team of mine. Uh, <laughs> this is my badminton team, but I got a scholarship for playing hockey back in 1995. Jim Bob is on fire. All right, what age did I graduate university? Hmm, what's your guess there? Well, if you guessed 26, you would have been correct. Played hockey after high school, junior hockey for a few years, and then went and played university. Five years of university, graduated at the age of 26. What month was I married in? Well, you will have absolutely no idea probably about this one. And being a teacher, you think, well, it's gonna be July or August, but you would be absolutely incorrect. I could not wait till July or August we got engaged in, I think, May or something, and uh, yeah, it was as soon as we could get married. We were pretty excited. So there you go, October. Jim Bob, look at Jim Bob. He knows me pretty well. This is amazing. All right, what's my other name? Hmm, Mr. Maxwell, Mr. Mathwell, Mr. Kemwell, or Jeff? Well, if you said Mr. Mathwell or Jeff, you are correct. Um, I might start another channel named Mr. Kemwell. I don't really know. Doesn't sound as good as math well. But anyways, question number 11 says, when he was young, Mr. Maxwell was really afraid of what? And that's not a picture of me. That kid looks really scared though. Uh, the answer is, of those, it is heights. Yeah, I didn't really wanna be up high. I kinda ooh, got dizzy, you know, felt like, oh, I was gonna fall all the time. I was scared of heights, okay. Next question, number 12. What was my first car? Ooh, and that is my first car pictured right there. I mean, it's not the exact one, but it's the exact color and make and model. That is a 1976 
Salika, look at that. That is amazing. Mine had, I think, more rust on it. But, man, I thought it was something else in that car. Yes, sirree. Question number 13. Mr. Maxwell currently owns this classic car. This was a dream of mine when I was a young toddler growing up on the farm. I always wanted one of these, a 1980 Corvette. Look at that. Red T-tops. The coolest car on earth. Look at this. Jim Bob has a streak of 13 in a row. Good job, Jim Bob. Mr. Maxwell taught school, uh, taught, first taught at which school? And this is the actual school pictured there. Um, this is, uh, yeah, I tell you, that was quite some story. Graduated in April. And as soon as I graduated, I got on the sub list in my, in my home division where I grew up. This is a rural, a small town school. And I got a subbing job right away at Southie School. Oh, I pulled up in my 1997 Pontiac Trans Am, the T-tops down. I thought it was the coolest substitute teacher in the world and I quite possibly could have been. Number 15, Mr. Maxwell prefers coffee, tea, Coke, Dr. Pepper. Do, 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 do. Well, you know what? I am a big coffee drinker. I do enjoy a coffee. I like a double-double once in a while. Pretty awesome. Okay, two more questions. How many siblings do I have? How many siblings do you think I have? And no, these are not my actual siblings. And I am not Asian, and these people are all Asian. These are not my siblings. And I do not have the same number of siblings as in this picture either. So please don't guess, you know, a lot, okay? Siblings, I have three siblings. I have three younger sisters, and they are wonderful people. I'm just going to stop right there and just say that. They, were, they are wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Jim Bob. How you doing? What? Did Jim Bob get that wrong? Oh, time's up. Oh, I waited too long. I talked too long. Okay, fine. Jim Bob didn't get any. Okay. Mr. Maxwell will experience a first this year, and it is 2021. Uh, so what is, am I going to be uh, doing here in 2021? Or what experience am I going to have? And that answer is... I have a child in university. My oldest son is in first year university. Wow, big boy. And that's it. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. In third place, we had no one. In second place, we had as well no one. And in first place, the only player to play this game, Jim Bob. Congratulations, Jim Bob. You got 16 out of 17 because you're too darn slow on the one question. All right, congratulations. Hey, uh, I want you to check out my website if you haven't already, if you don't know about that. I mean, hopefully you know about it because probably where you got the link to this video. But I have all these courses up here to help you in high school. You just click on any course that you want, like this, uh, Pre-Cal 20, show you the text, okay? There's a formula sheet for you, for you uh, syllabus, calendar, blah, blah, blah. And uh, homework questions that we're gonna run through as well as my instructional videos, other instructional videos from Donald Duck and things like that. And uh, yeah, I have the whole course right here. Every video, every uh, homework question, I have final exam reviews and all that good stuff to help you with your math and science in high school. Hey, have a great year. Maxwell out.